Why is the narcissist so full of hate? Why do they feel such intense dislike for you? Why do they criticize or abuse you? Narcissists hate because they are very angry. They are experiencing strong annoyance and displeasure. They're not satisfied with their lives. They hate because they are resentful. They observe you and your life and feel bitter indignation as though they have been treated unfairly. They feel like it's unfair. They feel inferior to you. They feel like they're not at your level. They feel like they're of little value or importance. They feel like they're not as good as you are. And that is why they bitch whenever they're around you. That is why they're always trying to find fault with you. They always try to reduce you to their level. Because they feel like they're beneath you. So they try to keep you down so that they can feel more comfortable. They try to level the playing field. Because in their minds, they were not given an equal chance to succeed. So they have to handicap you. They have to impose a condition on you that restricts your ability to function. They have to place you at a disadvantage by creating circumstances that makes your progress or success difficult so that they can get a head start, so that they can gain an advantage over you. Because they already feel like they're inferior to you, which is what compels them to bring you down. If they felt like they were on your level, they would feel no reason to do that. In some situations, the narcissist may be more successful than you are. They may be in a better position. But they can still hate on you. They can still feel like they're inferior to you if they are insecure as a person. If a person lacks confidence and feels uncertain about their own abilities, it doesn't matter what they have achieved or how successful they are. They can still feel like they're inferior to people who haven't achieved the same amount of success. They can still hate on people who have a lower rank or position. Because they're insecure. You cannot perceive of a deficiency in someone else before you perceive of it in yourself. People often project their own deficiencies onto other people. The narcissist sees your capabilities or success and they see it as though it was brought about by luck or chance rather than through your own actions. They don't think about all of the hard work you put in. They don't think about all of the trials and tribulations you went through because they lack imagination and foresight. So all they see is the finished product. You have these qualities and abilities that you have worked on for some time. Which is the product of who you are today. And the narcissist sees this and becomes infatuated with you. They experience an intense but short-lived passion and admiration for you.
It's attracted their interest. It's caught their eye. It's got their attention. They, ab they admire it initially. They look at it as something impressive and attractive. They express their admiration for it. But this soon changes when the narcissist realizes that they are not you. They cannot control you. They cannot influence or direct your behavior or the course of events. This is when they start to hate you. They don't give you any credit for your dedication and hard work. Because they don't see that. All they see is the finished product. They don't care to acknowledge everything that you went through along the way. So they discredit you. They see it as though you're not real. They see it as though you're a fraud. They disgrace and dishonor you. They try to harm your good reputation. And it's so easy for them to devalue you. Because they wish they were you. They want what you have. But they know that they would never be able to achieve that on their own. They lack the commitment and dedication that would be required to achieve something like that. They lack discipline. They lack the ability to maintain an activity or commitment despite fatigue or difficulty. They lack stamina. They lack the ability to sustain prolonged physical or mental effort, which is why they can't get anything done. And even if they did manage to achieve anything, it wouldn't matter because they don't know how to maintain it. They don't know how to keep it at the same level or better. They're easily distracted. And they're very ungrateful for anything that they, that they already have. So they don't really value it. They're lazy. They're unwilling to work or use their energy. They show a lack of care. These are all characteristics of a narcissist. And they are all characteristics of a hater. But you may have all of these qualities that are required to become successful. So you took a different road in life. Because you had a different mindset. But the narcissist does not recognize your qualities. Because all they're concerned with is instant gratification. They want everything now. They don't even think about the process that is required to manifest anything. They don't want to work on anything. They don't want to commit. They just want it right now. They might try to work at it for a short period of time. But it's not going to last. They will fall off very quickly. Especially if they don't get instant results. They become disconnected from a healthy mindset. A mindset that produces success. Because all they see is the finished product. They don't think about all of the hard work that it takes to get there. They just want instant gratification. But without this mindset that produces success, it results in hostile behavior. 
it results in unfriendliness and opposition. They become very envious and jealous. They feel like you're taking something away from them, which results in them wanting to take something that you have, which then makes them hate you even more because they're unable to produce something that they strongly desire. There's nothing wrong with having desires. Everyone has desires. But some people can actually make it happen. Well, for some people, no matter what they do, they can never achieve the results that they want. They feel like life is unfair. So they build this victim's mentality. They become mad at the world. They feel like the world is holding them back. They feel like the world owes them something. They become very arrogant and entitled. Where they feel like they can just tear people down and take whatever they want. Because they look at it like, what makes you so different from them? They're a person just like you. So why can't they have what you have? They become very arrogant. They act like they're so much greater than what they actually are to compensate for their true feelings of worthlessness. So they exaggerate everything to counteract these feelings. But they never actually do anything to change what led them to this situation. They never hold themselves accountable for their actions. And it is that lack of accountability that prevents them from achieving anything because they don't want to work on themselves. Instead, they develop a victim's mentality. Because they're seeking assistance They're looking for someone to provide them with money, resources, or information. Which is why narcissists are always trying to get things out of people. They always need your help. They need to be saved. Because they have this victim's mentality. So really, they're just looking for someone to save them from themselves. And their own mindset of feeling inferior. They have so much fear and anxiety because they don't feel like they can accomplish anything on their own. They don't feel like they can maintain it over a long period of time. This is what produces their extreme behavior where they're just doing anything they can to get ahead. They will lie to you. They will steal from you. They will do whatever it takes to get something because they feel inferior, which then produces anxiety, where they cannot rest until they get what they want, because they're in fear. They have to do something. They will do things without even thinking. They will engage in reckless behavior and make poor decisions that often leave them worse off or even damage other people's lives because they lack good judgment. They're out of touch with reality. They feel like everything is against them. They have this woe is me mentality. 
They can be very dramatic. They may spend most of their time complaining about how unfair everything is to them. This is the hater. This is the narcissist. But there's really nothing you can do to help them. Because they are stuck in this mindset. And they are destined to disregard anything that you have achieved. They don't care. Because it's not them. But they secretly wish that it was them. Haters have to live vicariously for other people. They have to experience your life through you and your accomplishments. Accomplishments. Because it gives them hope that maybe they can become successful too. But they don't respect your success. They're just thinking about how they can steal it from you or con you out of it. Rather than doing anything on their own. Because they're not willing to put in the hard work and effort. They don't think that they should have to play fair. Because they feel like everything is unfair for them. So if they see someone who is happy and successful, it makes them feel inferior. They don't believe that it can be achieved without lying and manipulation or without engaging in shameful and unacceptable behavior. So all they can do is hate. They become bitter and resentful towards you. Because it takes a lot of time and effort for them to achieve even a fraction of what is so effortless for you to achieve. It makes them upset and annoyed. Because it's so effortless for you. Well they have to put so much time and effort into it. Their entire lives are characterized by excessive work and demands where they have to do things that other people won't do and they're constantly experiencing great disturbance, confusion and uncertainty. Their conditions are difficult to survive in. It produces a hostile environment which has an undesirably strong effect on them because everything is so difficult, everything is hard well, they have to watch other people live an easy life. While not realizing all the hard work and sacrifices that those people may have made. It triggers the narcissist. It makes them feel inferior. Which then results in hate and envy. They hate because they know that you're better than them. They know that you're better than them in more ways than just one. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, 
You can email me at coach.narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.